guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a topic video on top 10 episodes I like to rewatch. Um, and this just came to me actually this week. I'm like, why not do this? Because I, I love some episodes I can just rewatch over and over again. Um, so I am going to talk 10 to 1, so it'll be 10, 9, 8, you know, going all the way to 1. And uh, yeah, so let's talk about the episodes I just really enjoy rewatching and I just can't get enough of. And I'm going to try to say a quote for each one because it's just to show how much I've seen it, especially that number one uh, spot. Uh, so what is number 10 on my list? Um, so the number 10 pick is actually something I have on my iPad and it actually showed me um, what episodes I really love rewatching. If I buy the episode on iTunes, I like to rewatch it. Uh, so number 10 is Nine Lives of Chloe King, episode 1. Um, this is a series I really, really enjoyed when it was on and it ended in such a way you're like, I can't believe it ended that way and it actually just came out with the script of how it would have ended. I really wish we could have saw that movie, and it, it was a very short-lived show, but um, I thought a very fun show at the same time. Um, so, episode one is something I could always really enjoy, and if you like um, the My story, which is like a, a mythical type story and a teenage type story, but just having fun with it, it kind of reminded me of Buffy a little, um, in a way, with the comedic relief and a, a, kind of a Scooby gang. Um, so I really enjoyed uh, the episode, and I can't think of a quote from the episode. That was the only thing I couldn't figure out a quote for, um, because I didn't watch the episodes recently. All these things I haven't really watched recently, but uh, of course we watch a lot. Uh, I can't think of a quote from it, but uh, I do recommend the series. It's really good, and uh, it's an episode I could always rewatch. Um, and I love when you watch an episode, you don't know what they, you know what they expect, but you feel like you don't know what they expect. I think with Nine Lives of Chloe King, you get that a lot. It's like I know what happens if I. I'm excited to see what happens in the end, even though I know what happens in the end. Uh, so that is uh, number 10 for that. Um, number 9 is Once More Time with Feeling, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Season 6, Episode 7. Um, yeah, most of this episode's singing, and I've seen uh, all these songs a lot. Um, you know, I remember when I first saw this uh, episode, I had those songs on my YouTube playlist. I would play them over and over again. Uh, so I know those songs by heart. And uh, it's a it's an episode where you could completely enjoy and memorize because of the music. And, uh, you know, it's a very classic episode. And uh, it's, it's an episode, actually, I would show people that really enjoy TV because it's something different. I think it made a mark on television history, in my opinion. That in the body, especially Buffy, um, I think there are some episodes that make marks on television history, and I think Once Upon a Time is one of those. Uh, once Upon a Time, Once once More Time with Feeling is one of those. Uh, and again, that's just an episode I think even a non-Buffy fan could enjoy. Um, and you dig deeper with the character of you seen Buffy, but um, I think you could really enjoy that one. And I'm not going to sing any songs, so I'm not going to quote that. <laughs> I'm not going to quote that, um that uh, episode. Um, number eight is Secret World of Alex Mack, season one, episode one, Accident. Uh, this is actually really hard to pick. There's another episode of Secret World of Alex Mack that I really enjoy, um, which is one of the last ones where Hunter and Alex, um, you know, they're trying to find the kid, and then Hunter finds out that Alex is the kid. Uh, so that's another one of my favorite episodes. But I picked the accident because I feel like I always go towards back that episode. Uh, you know, I would say once a year I rewatch Secret World Alex Mack. I feel like we're getting to that time. I'm going to be rewatching it. Uh, but it's harder and harder to find now. Um, and I wish they just had the complete set DVD. That's what I'm asking for. Secret World Alex Mack complete set. Um, even on iTunes, they don't have every season. Um, but honestly, it's just an episode that is just so classic for me. And, I, you know, I really love the series. And uh, every quote I could say from there. And uh, you see how much that, that show has grown from that episode. And uh, I love, I would say, episodes, The Exciting Incident. And uh, you'll see a lot of these episodes is The Exciting Incident with Supernatural TV shows. Uh, and that's The Exciting Incident. That's what starts the whole series. And uh, I will say um, one of my favorite lines is when... Um, when Alex is trying to describe uh, what happened to Annie, and she's like, the truck was there, it's like, bam! And all of this liquid, this all of this golden liquid stuff went on me. And Annie's like, oh, slow down, slow down, what's going on? Uh, and I love the, the part where she uses her powers, um, and the train starts moving, and uh, then Ray finds out. Uh, that has to be, like, my favorite scene from there. And I love when she's just like, bam! Uh, I still always remember that scene. So, uh, great episode, that's something I could always rewatch. Um, all right, number seven, something I haven't rewatched in a while, but I remember when it, I did rewatch it, and I've probably seen this episode a billion trillion times. 
Uh, and I still remember the first scene was the bowling scene with Lana in that Smallville Freak Season 6, Episode 15, uh, when Chloe finds out she's a meteor freak. Uh, Chloe Sullivan is one of my favorite TV characters of all time, and uh, Smallville is one of my favorite series of all time. Um, and this is when we find out Chloe is her worst nightmare, I guess. She she always didn't really like meteor freaks, or she liked discovering about meteor freaks. Um, and now she is a meteor freak, and I thought that was a really cool spin to her character, and made her character um, a really interesting. And then they took it away from her in uh, Season 7, after the whole Brainiac story arc. Uh, but it's something I enjoyed because I didn't really expect it. And when I, I remember when I first saw the episode, I'm like, I have to watch that again. And it, it's an episode I really do rewatch over and over again. Um, and... I remember when Chloe says, uh, she's like, I'm a ticking time bomb. That's one of my favorite scenes is with Chloe and Clark, where she's like, I'm a ticking time bomb. And Clark says, uh, then I'll be your own personal bomb squad. So that's a quote that I really enjoyed from that episode. And you know, I have tons of quotes uh, from uh, that episode. It's like, I'm a meteor freak. Uh, it's just a really fun episode. Um, it's something, and with season six, we didn't get a lot of meteor freaks. Uh, after season four, I feel like we got more into the comic book mythology. Uh, and bringing back meteor freaks was a fun thing, especially with a main character like Chloe. Uh, so, great episode, something I really should rewatch again. And uh, I enjoy season six, it's one of my favorite seasons. So, season six and season seven are my favorites from Smallville. Um, Alright, number six is Roswell Graduation Series Finale. Um, yeah, this is a series finale of Roswell. Um, another one I really enjoy, just the, the way they end things in, in the episode is, or in this in the series and as a whole, um, is fun, you know. It, it ends in a very good note. They're all together. Um, Max and Liz, they get married, and they graduate from high school. You know, it is still a high school story, and they graduate, and... They are obviously still uh, on the run, but they're all together, and uh, I really love the goodbyes. Um, I love, I especially my favorite part was uh, the last scene uh, where we get to see Liz gives her journal. The journal is like one of the most important things from Roswell, and she gives her journal to her father, and like she never tells anything about Max, and now her father's going to learn everything. And my favorite line from that episode has to be the last line. And I remember when I first saw this episode, I was bawling. I was just crying. And uh, yeah, so the last line is like, I'm Liz Parker, and I'm happy. And I was like, that's just a perfect way to end that series. And uh, yeah, so great episode. Um, and there's just a lot of elements that was a great way to end that series. It's uh, Those couple of last episodes are something I can always rewatch with Roswell. Um... Alright, next is number five, which is The Vampire Diaries, Season 2, Episode 2, Brave New World. Uh, my favorite episode of The Vampire Diaries has to be this one, uh, because Caroline, one, my favorite character from the series, uh, becomes a vampire, and uh, or she became a vampire in the end of Season 2, or uh, yeah, Season 2, Episode 1. Uh, but with this one, we see her become a vampire. And, uh, you know, Caroline was a really annoying character in Season 1. So, in Season 2, in Season 3, she, as she became a vampire, uh, she didn't become annoying anymore, which is really a good thing uh, for her character. She became one of my favorite characters, because she was a strong vampire, and she didn't, um, she wasn't so addicted to blood like everyone else, uh, like even Elena when she turned into a vampire. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a very fun episode, because again, she's a very neurotic character, and when you become a vampire, you're your emotions are heightened, and uh, you saw Caroline's emotions heightened, because uh, she's such a organized person, or neurotic person, um, that when things don't go right, she goes crazy, and you see her go crazy in this episode, and it's just, it just was a totally different side to Caroline, and that was the episode where her character just became 100% uh, better, and one of the prime things in that series that was great at that time. Um, so yeah, Love that episode, something I could always rewatch, especially as a big Caroline fan. And, uh, yeah, so one line I'll give you is, I'm a murderer. <laughs> that was uh, one thing that always comes to mind when I think of that episode. Um, all right, number four is Angel Birthday, season three, episode 11. My all time favorite character uh, is Cordelia Chase. And uh, this episode, we get to see again a great character development episode. Um, so we get to see Cordelia. Uh, go through her past, and she has what she wanted to be, 
a movie star. And we get to see that she becomes a movie star, but there's something that's not right. And she realizes that she needs the visions. And uh, because she has the visions, she could die because she's human and they're destroying her brain. Um, but the way to have the visions and also still be alive is become half demon. And this is just a step up for this character because uh, Cordy from season one of Buffy would never do this. Uh, she'd be like, oh, that's disgusting. But in this, she's like, demonize me already. And that's, again, my favorite line from the from that episode is demonize me already. And she becomes half demon, uh, which I thought, you know, for that character, that's just a total step up and shows that she wasn't selfish. She did it to help Angel and help all these innocent people. And that was, again, the total opposite of what Cordy was in uh, season one of Buffy. Uh, again, big fan of character development. I think Cordy's one of the biggest character developments, in my opinion, in television. Uh, so, just a fun episode that I always, always rewatch, um, especially if I'm watching Angel. And I watch a lot of Angel, uh, especially with Netflix. Um, Alright, number three is Ch Ch Changes. That's the episode name. Uh, so, it's Roswell, season three, episode 12. Um, and that's when Liz gets her powers. Um, and I didn't expect that. And again, exciting incident. That's what I do like. Um, and this is definitely a big exciting incident for Liz. Uh, she gets powers because Max saved her uh, in episode one. And I guess for some reason she becomes like half alien like them. And we get to see Kyle might become half alien also. Uh, but at that moment, you know, we get to see how... Max and Liz's relationship is kind of distancing because of Tess. Uh, Tess was a big villain in this series, and Tess got, um, you know, had the baby of Max. So obviously that's bringing a strain into the relationship, and they finally confront that in this episode. Um, and it's just fun to see Liz have powers and actually keep them. And, uh, you know, that also means that Kyle is going to get powers. And what does that mean for Maria? She's a normal person, and does she fit in the group anymore? So it changed the status quo of a lot of characters. Uh, and it was just a funny episode because it didn't just counter, you know, Liz having powers, but it countered a lot of different subjects. And also, who doesn't love when Maria became a pop star for, like, an episode? That was a lot of fun. I love that song that she sings, which I'm not going to sing. Um, I'm trying to think of a, a nice quote from uh, that episode, but I can't think of one right now, but it's a really good episode. Um, Alright, number two is Parting Gifts, Angel, Season 1, Episode 10. Uh, yeah, again, another Cordelia episode, um, and this is one of my favorites because this is, again, when Cordelia has another step up of changing into a different character. Uh, and again, she's a very selfish character, but when she gets these gifts, she sees the pain of everyone in, um, L.A., which is a lot of pain. Um, and that's how she grows as a character, because she's able to have some empathy, and these powers force her to have empathy. Uh, and then we have characters like Wesley come back, and, uh, you know, dealing with the death of Doyle, uh, and it's just a fun episode at all. And one quote I love is when Cordelia is in, um, the commercial, it's a, it's a national. So that was something in the episode, it's like, it's a national, or else I would blow it off. Uh, and then she gets her first vision, and, uh, she's doing a commercial about grass grass stains and she's like grass stains so if you see the episode it's pretty funny um but yeah that was her first vision and that's like the worst place to have a vision uh so yeah just a great progression for Cordelia it's something I could always always rewatch, and I recommend to everybody number one is uh Heroes Company Man season one episode 17 I don't mention Heroes a lot but it's a series I do love um, which I should do something for Heroes. Maybe if you have a recommendation in the comments below, I'll do something for Heroes. Uh, but this is an episode I remember I had on DVD. And um, I used to go, um, we used to do a lot of car traveling um, when I was like in 7th grade, 8th grade. Uh, so I did a lot of traveling. So in our car we had a DVD player. And I would watch that episode over and over and over and over again because uh, I just loved it. Uh, we found out uh, who HRG is and uh, again many quotes there and then showing the relationship of Claire and HRG which is something I love like Claire not trusting HRG because you really couldn't trust him and we're really digging into uh, the mind of who this guy is. What is the company? Um, and at that moment in that season we didn't know what the company was. Um, with that episode one we get to see this mysterious man who's been capturing these uh, uh, um, people that had powers was the father of someone that did have powers. So ever since that episode, you're like, wow, this connection's so weird. And then you get to see that connection, and then it explodes in Company Man. Uh, and the whole family finds out that Claire is, can regenerate. Um, 
I have to say, there's a plenty of scenes that are my favorite here um, that I could restate, uh, but um, one of my favorites is uh, when we go back to um, the, the flashback where HRG is meeting his first uh, invisible partner, and he's like, I'm okay with Morley Gray, which he really is. He's such a great character. Um, and then... Uh, you know, there's a, just plenty of scenes in that um, episode. Like, every scene is my favorite. When uh, Claire talks to Matt, the first encounter he she kind of has uh, with a superpower person, if you don't count Homecoming, um, or able to talk to someone with superpowers, about superpowers. Um, when, you know, Sandra finds out about uh, Claire's powers. All the jokes about Mr. Muggles in this episode. Um, I can't play dead. I'm not Mr. Muggles. Uh, but yeah, great episode. Um, a lot of quotes from all those series, but, uh, those are episodes that I could always rewatch. Company Man is definitely something I, I should rewatch. I, I feel like I want to rewatch all these episodes now. Uh, but tell me in comments below, what are episodes that you can rewatch that you just don't get tired of, that you could quote if you want, you could quote in the comments below. Uh, but those are the episodes I really are fond of, that I could really rewatch, and I, I always tend to at least go back to every year. Uh, so tell me in comments below what you think think this is comic you know and uh, if you have any recommendations for topic videos just tell me in comments below and uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for comic you know and the right situations and don't forget to like my Facebook page and I'll see you guys later bye